Businesses often see collaboration with universities as the ideal way to develop more innovative ways of working. However, these collaborations present a number of challenges due to the differences between conducting research at a university and tangible business practice at a corporate level. Research carried out at Imperial College Business School examines these relationships in order to identify and overcome any obstacles that may arise. Dr. Marcus Perkman is a senior research fellow working in the Innovation and Entrepreneurship Group at Imperial College Business School. The pharmaceutical industry is at a crossroads. They've been spending more and more money on, uh, on research and development. However, the, the number of drugs that they have developed has not, has not gone up. So the pharmaceutical industry is looking for ways in which they can raise their research productivity. The pharma industry has been experimenting with new ways of working with universities. One of the new models is the open science model. And the open science model consists of two elements. First, uh, the firm is not collaborating with the university directly, but puts in place an intermediary. The intermediary then organizes the fundraising, both from the industry as well as other funders like uh, the Wellcome Trust, and then organizes the research activities with the academic researchers. The second element is that the, all the research results are put into the public domain for free. So the pharma industry will not obtain uh, intellectual property from this activity. However, at the same time, uh, this arrangement gives them the, the opportunity to influence academic research in a way that was not uh, possible before. Marcus examines how scientific research has a wider economic and social impact. The project looks at all types of engagement, ranging from collaborative research projects to consulting and founding companies to consider how they relate to each other. In this project, we've worked with Imperial College in order to gain access to information on what Imperial scientists have been doing over the last 10 years. We're hoping to gain insight into two aspects of academic scientists collaboration with industry. First, what are the kind of people who are more, are more likely to do this and who are at the same time maintaining their scientific careers? Secondly, what is the team and departmental context that is conducive for them to do this in a, in a way that's productive for both the university and their commercialization activity? The results generated from Marcus's work will provide new insights into the traditional problem of how to further the impact that science has on the economy and society, whilst simultaneously safeguarding its independence and quest for invention.